Okay, you guys, so again, we are talking about applications and letters of recommendations. Um, I wanted to address something that was asked of me, which is pretty commonplace, and it's surrounding the letters of recommendation. So if you are searching for somebody to write a letter of recommendation for you, or you may have come across this, or you will come across this in the future, you should probably watch this video, okay? Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so for those of you who are new, take a look around if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. So I had a question asked by Jalen Crockett and he said, hey Adana or hi Adana, I'm not sure if there's currently a video on this topic or not, there is not Jalen, so thank you for this topic idea. Any advice for the situation where your recommender is asking for you to write your own recommendation letter? Should I seek out a letter from someone else who is willing to speak to my long journey towards becoming a PA? All right, well, I mean, you know, this is something that's pretty commonplace and I, I'm glad that you asked this because I had people that like offered to have me write my own letter of recommendation and I was like, nah, <laughs> like that's why I'm coming to you because at the end of the day, like I wanted to be honest about this. Like I wasn't trying to have my own words written. And so the thing is, is that the, I feel like there's like two two things that this is saying. This is either saying like, yo, I don't have the time to write this letter of recommendation for you, so can you just write it and then I'll co-sign it? Or number two, like, I really don't know you that well um, or as well as you think I know you to write a letter of recommendation for you, so can you just write the letter and I'll co-sign it? Um, and so both of those things, like you necessarily, like you don't necessarily want. Like I want somebody who's willing to take the time to actually write the letter of recommendation and as you said, speak to your long journey. Somebody that knows you, that knows your work ethic, your effort, um, and you know, what you will bring to the table as a future PA and provider just in general. And so for me, when they asked me, you know, are you willing to write your own, can you just do it and I'll write it for, I'll like co-sign it for you, I was like, no it's okay you know I would feel more comfortable if you were able to write it but since you just don't have the time or you're unable to do so um, I do have some other people that are willing to write a letter of recommendation for me and it was like no hard feelings it was easy like they went about their business and I went about mine but at the end of the day I feel like you're coming into something where you're gonna need to be an honest person really and truly you know like you don't want to start this career off dishonestly and so at the end of the day if you're looking at providers or um, you know your teachers or you know just your bosses whoever you're getting this letter of recommendation from and they're asking you to write your own letter and you don't feel comfortable with that then don't roll with it you know you don't feel comfortable with it I know lots of people who are completely fine with that who are super comfortable with it but if you're not one of those people then absolutely don't do it and and stick to that and I think that you know God will honor that honestly so for me I would suggest if you're not comfortable with it absolutely by all means you know keep it moving um, if you are comfortable with it I would suggest that you kind of rethink that comfort level um, really and truly I feel like you should just seek out somebody that has the time that is willing able um, and wants to actually write this letter of recommendation for you to just speak to how great of a future provider or future PA you will be or whatever it is that you need a letter of recommendation for okay all right Jalen thank you so much for asking me this question if you guys have any other questions for me you know what to do, leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram at DonnaPA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. 